Welcome to SolarWinds RMM, which includes an integrated endpoint detection and response feature, or EDR, powered by Sentinel-1. Today we'll show you how to activate your 30-day trial of integrated EDR. This process relies on our new ecosystem management framework and enables direct trial activation in product. There are three simple steps we'll cover to get you up and running. First, activate your trial. Next, create an EDR policy. And finally, enable the EDR feature on an endpoint. Step one, enable EDR in the left-hand navigation menu. Click Integrations, Integration Management menu. Next, in the Endpoint Detection and Response row, click Activate. This activation process may take up to 10 minutes to complete. After successful activation, you will see your trial active with number of days remaining. You will then also see the new Endpoint Detection and Response menu in the left-hand navigation and be ready to go. The next thing to do after successful activation is to create policies that define the protection levels and other configuration settings for how endpoints will be protected. Click the Add Policy button on the Policies page to get started. After naming and providing a description of the policy and clicking Save, you will then see the Edit Policy screen. If you want to make changes to the policy, click on the Change Policy link which will enable editing of all policy options. Be sure to scroll down to verify all available options, and after you have configured them to your needs, click the Save button located at the bottom of the iframe to ensure the changes are successfully recorded for the policy. During this step, you can also configure blacklist and exclusion options at the top level tabs of the Edit Policy screen to enable finely tuned control of the threat detections in your network. After the Sentinel-1 policy and any blacklist or exclusions are saved, remember to click the Finish button in the lower right-hand corner to exit the policy creation process. The final step is enablement of the EDR feature on a workstation or server and can be accomplished in one of two ways. Directly for the individual endpoint under the Edit Workstation or Edit Server menu where you can turn on the setting and select the policy you want to use. Alternatively, you can use the EDR settings menu to deploy to various levels of your client tree quickly and easily. After successful installation of the EDR feature and the agent on the endpoint, you will need to reboot to enable full protection. This can be done immediately or during a regular maintenance window as conditions require. And that's it. We hope you have enjoyed the short look at how to activate SolarWinds integrated EDR.